I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series for grade 3 students. In this video, we will learn how to name figures, right? That's the idea. So we have different kinds of figures here. As you can see, we have how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We got 10 figures and we'll see how to name them in this particular video. The few common names are listed here, which we are going to look into. Triangle, rectangle, square, parallelogram, rhombus, trapezoid, regular figures, polygons, and then we'll have an assignment for you. All the questions are based on the figures shown here. So whenever I say which of these figures means these 10, is that clear to you? Right. So now let's begin with our lesson. Remember that you can always get back to me using this particular email or you can also visit my website for more information. So let's begin with understanding what a triangle is, right? So a triangle is a figure with how many sides? With three sides and three vertices, right? So we have a video which talks about the description or attributes for the figures. We are going to use those attributes in this particular video to describe our shapes, right? So triangle is a figure with three sides and three vertices. Is that clear to you, right? Can you figure out which one of these 10 is a triangle, right? So can you figure this out? I think you can. There you see it. T for triangle, and that's where we have a triangle. Correct. Now, this particular triangle is kind of special for us. We are writing here equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle has all equal sides. So in this particular triangle, we have all equal sides. These are the three sides. Uh, all are of same length, right? So that is what is called equilateral triangle. The second one here is isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle has two equal sides only. So let's, let me sketch one isosceles triangle so that's very clear to you, right? So if I have a triangle which is kind of like this, you can see, right? So in this particular case, we have these two sides equal. So whenever I draw lines like this, it means they have equal length. Equal means equal in length. So this becomes an example of an isosceles triangle. Now, we are also talking about right triangles now. Right triangles has right angle. Okay, so right triangle looks like something like this. So here at the corner, we have a right angle. Do you see that? So this is what we call as a right triangle. So this is the right triangle for you. Since this corner is like a square corner. So when you have a right angle, we have a square corner, right? So that becomes a right angle. So about the triangles, we learn that there are three types of triangles with special names, right? So one is called equilateral triangle, all equal sides, equilateral. Isosceles has two equal sides, right triangle has a square corner. Now, a question for you is, find the name of a triangle whose side lengths are not equal. So, if most of the time you have a triangle whose side lengths may not be equal, right? So, for example, this kind of a triangle here, the side lengths are not equal at all. So, what is the name of this triangle? So, that is an exercise for you. Perfect. So, yeah, I think you've got what triangle is. Triangle has three sides, right? And it has three corners. That means those are three angles, right? So these are the three angles also. Now these sides could be equal, could not be equal. Based on that, we have special names for some triangles, okay? Now, let's talk about rectangles. What are rectangles? Well, rectangle has four sides. Just as triangles have three sides, rectangles have four sides. Now, rectangles have four sides. It has two pair of parallel sides. So, we can see here, we do have a rectangle R, right? So, it has two pair of parallel sides. These opposite sides are parallel. So, it has two pair of parallel sides. 
Now, it also has four right angles. So these are the right angles, as you can see here. These corners are the four right angles. And it also says that the opposite sides have same length. So you can see that this side is of the same length as the opposite side, correct? Even the other side is of the same length. So whenever the figures have same length, we normally draw two lines cutting across as shown here or one line or even three lines at times. So that becomes a rectangle. Here is a question based on rectangle for you. Question number two. Rectangle has four equal sides. Is this statement true? Mm -hmm. You need to answer this. Okay, let's move on and take the next shape which is a square for us okay what is a square well square has four sides it has two pairs of parallel sides and it has four right angles all four sides of a square are equal in length well you know that you will start from there always correct square is a figure whose all four sides are equal opposite sides are parallel and we also have right angles right so here can you recognize the square yes you can so these are the four corners which are at right angles and we also know all the sides are equal so just drawing one line or two lines like this shows that all these sides are equal so it is a four-sided figure once again similar to rectangle but special that all the sides are equal for a rectangle all the sides may not be equal that is the whole idea perfect so here is question number three for you see as we learn we try to answer the questions just to make sure that we have learned in case you have any doubt you can always send me an email on the address given here okay question number three is is square a regular figure hmm what is a regular figure again Think about it. What is a regular figure? Let me correct the spelling here for regular. Regular figure. Okay. Regular means same size. Same size, regular figure. Correct. So that is what we learned in the previous video. Let's move on and see the next shape. It is called parallelogram. Okay. Parallelogram a long word here which we could break para gram okay parallelogram has four sides so once again we're talking about a figure which has four sides and it has two pairs of parallel sides okay it has two pairs of parallel sides and four sides let's figure out where do we have two pairs of parallel sides right so for example m we have one pair of parallel sides and also the second pair of parallel sides so it is a four-sided figure with two pairs of parallel sides that makes sense right so that could be the answer right so m is your parallelogram perfect question number four for you is how many figures shown here are parallelograms right so this word is how many okay how many figures shown here are parallelograms so just count them for parallelogram two things are important you're looking for four sides and two pair of parallel sides perfect so your answer okay let's move on and take up the next shape which is called rhombus rhombus is a parallelogram means four-sided figure with two pairs of parallel sides rhombus is a parallelogram with all equal sides so it is a parallelogram with all equal sides kind of b here do you see that so all sides for b are equal so i'm writing two lines like this that means they're of equal length also we understand that the opposite sides are parallel so we are drawing this arrow showing that this side is parallel and that opposite side is also parallel two arrows there so we have the figure b which represents the rhombus for us clear square is a special rhombus with all 
90 degrees angle, all right angles. Do you see that? So it is also a rhombus. So a square has got equal sides. How? The angles are 90 degrees. But still, you can see it matches the definition, which is four-sided figure with two pair of parallel sides and all equal sides. Correct? Okay. So that makes sense. That gives us question number five. You can always pause the video, answer the question, then move forward. Question number five for you is, what is similar between the rhombus and rectangle? Hmm. So think about it and answer, what is similar between the rhombus and the rectangle? Correct. So let's move on to the next, which is called trapezoid. So trapezoid is another figure which looks like this, right? So that is the trapezoid for us, which we are going to talk about. Trapezoid is a four, has four sides. As you can see, this figure has four sides. It has a pair of parallel sides. Only one pair of parallel sides that makes it trapezoid. Do you see that? So that is what we're looking for. So trapezoid has only one pair of parallel sides, right? Okay. Now that brings us to question number six, which is identify trapezoid from the given figure. So you have to find which of these figures represent a trapezoid. Now we'll talk about some general terms. Pentagon. Pentagon. Pent means five, right? So five sided figure is pentagon. Okay. So here is the definition for pentagon. Pentagon has five sides. Regular pentagon has five equal sides and five equal angles, right? So that is what a pentagon is. Now, in our figures, we do not have a regular pentagon, right? But do we have a pentagon? Hmm? That is another thing we need to figure out. I think you need to draw one. And therefore, the question number eight here is draw a regular pentagon and that to a regular pentagon okay so draw a regular pentagon means equal five sides is that clear to you so try to draw a pentagon which has five equal sides we do have a hexagon here so the next one here is called hexagon hexagon has six sides regular hexagon has six equal sides and six equal angles as you can see here these are the six sides of a hexagon and all the sides are equal. Therefore, this one is also a regular hexagon, right? Question number eight is draw an irregular hexagon. Okay, so now you have to draw a hexagon which is irregular. Irregular means we have different sides. Is that clear to you? Okay, so we have learned about pentagon. And now you have to draw an irregular hexagon. Okay. So in the previous video, can you find pentagon? Let me write down here question. Find pentagon. From the given figures. There is one. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Now. We have learned that there, there are many shapes which have only four sides and we give them a name and the name is quadrilateral. So quadrilateral, quad means four, quad means four, right? So this quad means four. So four sided figures are called quadrilaterals. So here is the definition. Quadrilaterals has four sides. Regular square is a regular quadrilateral. Square has four equal sides. So it is a regular quadrilateral. Now, the question for you is identify all the quadrilaterals from the given figures. So, we have many quadrilaterals here, many four sided figures. You need to identify all of them. Perfect. So, I think you have learned names of most of these figures, right? Here is an assignment for you. The assignment is all the figures we studied today are formed by straight lines, right? We didn't talk about the circle, right? But we talked about the other figures, right? These are called polygons. So polygons are the figures two-dimensional. We will say that later. Formed by straight lines. 
okay in general okay a polygon has a polygon is any two dimensional shape formed with straight lines so two dimensional things can be drawn on this paper so when you draw something on the paper what we see is two dimension what we see otherwise in life is kind of three dimensions right length width and height you can see both here you can only see two things okay so so these are all two dimensional figures we learned about all of them perfect well we didn't talk about circle mainly because the circle is formed not by straight lines right okay now here are a few other polygons and few other definitions heptagon heptagon is seven sided figure and then octagon is eight sided nonagon nine sided decagon ten sided do you see the similarity in the names right so many times based on the number of sides we give name for polygons right so heptagon octagon nonagon decagon earlier we did pentagon and hexagon right five sided six sided and now we're talking about seven eight nine and ten so similarly so many figures are based on the number of sides their names right so question number 10 here is find the least number of sides of a polygon hmm? okay polygon means many okay many sided figures find the least number means minimum sides so a polygon can have minimum how many sides that's the question for you so look into this and then write down to me on my email address which is anil.anilkandelwal at gmail.com i hope today you learned a lot and you also learned that all the figures we talked about had straight lines now the question for you is is circle a polygon hmm it is no straight lines right so that is odd thing out out of this list of 10 right so that brings us to the end of this particular topic naming figures but i hope with this you learn how to name figures especially when we are talking about a triangle a rectangle a square a parallelogram rhombus trapezoid regular figures regular figures are the figures which have exactly same length of sides polygons we soon learn many polygons are named after the number of sides they have and then we do have few assignments for you you can always submit your assignment to my email i hope that helps feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that will be great thanks for your time and all the best